Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you how Bioshock Infinite works on my PC. First off, I want to say this computer is not a custom built gaming rig. This PC is basically an upgraded office PC. I got it from Walmart for Christmas. The specs are I have a 300 watt power supply. Yes, I know. 300 watt power supply in this day and age when you need to upgrade your components every so often if you're playing games. It sucks. But, you know, just go with it. Anyway, like, I have an AMD 5200 APU with integrated HD 8400 graphics running at 2 gigahertz. I have 6 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM and a 500 gigabyte hard drive. And here's the upgrade I have done to it. I have a 1 gigabyte EGA GeForce GT620. It uses DDR3 memory. And if you can help it get the 2 gigabyte version, it it would help a little bit. More RAM is always better. I I'm running this game in winded mode and I'm sorry about the no sound cuz the the program I'm using Xfire sucks. And as you can see the game runs fairly well. When I'm not recording, I get around 30 frames per second. Not the best, but, you know. Another thing, I'm going to touch on something really, really quick, is the ability to use controllers with the game. Every Bioshock game, you've been able to use an Xbox 360 controller, but this one says it supports the Xbox One and the PS4 controller, stuff like that on the Steam page. It don't. Yeah, I've tried it. The only one I've gotten it to work with is the only one in my possession that works. I have a PS3 controller, the Power A controller, but it kind of sucks. And I'm using my Xbox 360 controller. It works very nice. The rumble works and everything like that. Moving on. If you're going to overclock your GPU, like I have, I would recommend you increase your fan speed. Because if you overclock your GPU, it will increase the heat outputs. As of right now, I have the side off of my PC to help it cool. The software I used to overclock is MSI Afterburner. I highly recommend it. And it's easy to use if you if your computer if your graphics card has a fan built into it. You can increase the fan speed, you can increase the clock, the core clock speed, and you can, go back here bitch, you can increase the core clock, the, met, the RAM speeds, you can basically increase it, and increase the voltage to it if the card supports it. But, be warned though, make sure your computer has enough, enough juice, it outputs enough juice to power it. And... <laughs> One thing, I'm not sure if you guys can hear it real quick, I'm going to touch on this, is fans in the computer are annoying. If you're going to get a computer like mine, it's not really the greatest for a quiet space because it can get noisy. And that's all I'm going to say about that. I don't know if you can hear it, but like, and... That is all for this video, people. Please, if you liked the video, like it. Comment if you like my PC or suggest ways it can be improved, or you suggest or you suggest a way the video itself can be improved. And subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Peace.